The ocean. Every time you're in the ocean, you've probably wondered, how deep does it go? Well, today we're gonna be finding out how deep the ocean actually goes and what creatures lie beneath the depths of the surface. Well, today you're gonna have this opportunity. Now, how good are you at holding your breath? Not that good? I can hold it for like two well, minutes, not maybe? To worry. Yeah, maybe Hop like 10 seconds for me. Craft and Try join me in the video. voyage to the depths. Ready? Here we go. Ooh, Everyone, breathe in. <gasps> right now, just below the surface, you see that life is thriving here. Fish and marine animals abound, and hey yeah. there, swimmers are waving at us. But we won't be staying here for long. Whoa. Bye. -bye. Are you guys at holding your breath? Five feet, yeah. There's a whole new right. world opening before your eyes. Shallow coral reefs are standing beautifully yeah. not far from the shore. And Whoa. hey, there are people here again. It's scuba divers this time, though. Oh, Water scuba! Scuba dooby doo! Oh, looks like he's going to equipment. heaven with all that light. One hundred thirty feet go to the depths, where we say goodbye, even to recreational scuba divers. Oh my gosh, we're two hundred feet deep. It's the maximum allowed for them. Guys, Take I can't care, hold guys. my breath anymore. Let's go back up. Feet. Feet. Turn it around. Okay, okay, orca. let's go up. Let's go up. Let's turn it around. There's no orcas. There's two hundred feet. Shallow waters of almost every sea and ocean in the world. Did you know that they're the apex predators, by the way? Jack died. Jack no died. We made it 220 feet. No one can take them down. At 230 feet, we meet whale sharks, the largest Ooh. known fish whale species, sharks. weighing up to 60 tons. Dang, they're actually also really quite deep. long. Livers. 60 tons? Well, yeah, I guess their livers are long at that. They can live 130 feet. Look at that belly. Look, look at the belly. Look at the belly on it. It looks like you, Adam, as a shark. Yeah. Actually? Now look outside. If you're a scuba diver, it's a real pro. Because at 330 feet, they'll have to be Wait, very more cautious not to get decompression sickness. Wow. It occurs if you rise that's too deep. quickly that's to crazy. the surface. And if you're lucky, Three, you can also feet. see a giant nice. octopus. It dwells in cool Whoa. water starting this deep and that thing's going huge. down as far as 6,600 feet. That's a if I saw that now, thing, I'm we're never going the in the dark ocean again. Part of the ocean. At 490 feet, just 1% of the light from the surface reaches us. Oh, jeez. Oh. Uh, did water. anybody else get goosebumps Everything there? Everything deeper. No. It's scary. Darker and darker Something's still. tingling somewhere. Oh, look. This is spooky, though. At about 660 though. feet, there's a giant oarfish circling no. our submersible. What? These creatures are believed to be Ew. the source of all sea serpent sightings and oh. also a lot of it's alliteration. So oh, it's a sea serpent. They swim up to the surface and what freak that? out sailors and swimmers. No wonder. These fish can reach 36, 36 feet. feet in length. Wow. That's Actually, scare the heck out of me, wow. for example. Okay, now we're at 980 I think that's a feet. Serpent. And wait, imagine being that fish though. Like you're just 36 feet long with like no fins or like limbs or anything. You're just like one long, like you're just one long worm in the you're, bottom you're of the an, ocean. You're an ocean snake. It's, you do this and you open and close your mouth to like eat food. That's it. That's all you're that's doing. That's all Adam does anyway. <laughs> that's all. That's all that. You like guys their see how natural that life. comes to me? Yeah, you're actually crushing it. Wow. <laughs> their entire life is squirm and eat. Well, and you. I forgot to mention, it's in complete darkness. Thing oh, yeah, true. That's true. It can't oh, even see. Oh, I get it. It's a Japanese what spider crab. Nope. Crap. Nope. No, 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 no. Those things look huge. Well, just look at those legs, and the answer nah, will come to you. That looks like Alex Harry pump. legs. By the way, there's almost not nothing everything more that's red is me. Legs. The body of such a crab is normally just one and a half feet across. Going deeper now. There's so much meat on that at bad boy. 1,640 oh feet. Deep. You're going to see the last of the blue whales. No, not really oh, the last of them. Oh my god, it's I mean, huge! That's the deepest they can swim. <laughs> they don't really need oh a massive for food, which they have in abundance in shallower waters, but they still can. I guess it's just for the sake of showing how awesome they are. 1,600 feet. After all, they're the largest creatures in the history of Earth, wow. both in the sea and on land. Shh. Oh my gosh, dude. Wait, what about how like deep a megalodon? These are the sounds no, nothing else has ever been bigger than a blue whale. Really? Many miles away. Yeah. Wow. They can do this thanks to the SOFAR channel, or deep sea channel, that generally starts at 1,970 feet, but can vary in depth. It's a layer of water where the speed of sound is at its minimum, and sound oh. waves can go thousands of miles before thousands? disappearing. Whoa. At the depth of 2,723 feet, yeah. we have reached Why the they, point you where mean the us? Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world, Shout would out not humans. even show its tip on the surface if it were put underwater. Hey, Thanks. Wow. Not even a tip. Now we're entering the really interesting part of the ocean, where no sunlight reaches us and strange creatures dwell. I'm scared. One of those How is deep the does giant it get? squid. Oh, yes, that legendary type. It inhabits the depths the of 2,950 feet. That is a kraken. Just imagine a like creature that. with eyes the size of frisbees. Sperm whales oh my gosh. frisbees. 
but they certainly can fight back. What a sight it would be to see such an encounter. Seriously. No. And that's no, if you're seeing that, you're dying after. I this is going to be weird to say. And you guys could probably look at me and be like, dude, you're, you're a weirdo. But to me, like, it's crazy that all of that is happening right now. Like, there are krakens and there are sharks and there are blue whales right now. Like, they're out there. And, like, life is happening outside of my little bubble. You and know we're what gonna I'm saying? We're going to keep it that way, okay? We're going to keep it that way. You we're going to keep it that way. No, we're not. Away. If this video gets 10,000 likes, we will hop in that submersion tank and yeah. go 10,000 feet down in the ocean, baby. You got that that's possible? all you. That's gonna be get so to like, Three thousand feet right now. Alec will fight a kraken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. That's Hundred thousand likes. Am I the kraken? I'm gonna dress up Darkness as a kraken. Darkness <laughs> finally falls on us. The midnight zone. The pressure here is so be a huge sick video for real. that if you somehow end up being here without a submersible, well, you'll simply be crushed in a couple of seconds, <gasps> and that without seeing wow. a thing too. Mm, not the best of prospects. Anyway, at 3,600 feet, there's West Mata, one of the deepest ocean volcanoes in the world. Its last eruption was in 2009. I kind of forgot about ocean volcanoes. I didn't know it's a thing. 4,200 feet down below, and we see the ferocious great white oh, sharks. Oh, They're oh, sharks oh, that oh, oh, feel great at such a depth. Oh, what the heck? Oh, oh. Their eyesight is rather poor, and they navigate by scent. Oh, so wow. they really don't need sunlight to hunt down <laughs> That's kind of funny, just imagining a great white you, shark like swimming around <laughs> and then it runs directly also, into a rock because it can't turtles, see. <laughs> the largest turtles in the world dive at the same depth. I wonder if they do it to tease the great whites. What? Oh, see those I huge nets? That. That's because we're now at the depth of 4,900 feet where the catch-all fishing method is used. The nets are here to be dragged along the ocean floor, catching Wait, everything unfortunate enough to be caught. That's I'll a thing? let you decide how detrimental this real? is to the ocean life here. They go here. five thousand wow. feet, down? six thousand feet. Wait, what are they? Wait, what are they even trying to catch? All they said that there was there was great whites and and turtles. Great no, white, they're literally turtle. probably catching great white turtle, the kraken, the maybe a blue whale in there. Big whale, yeah. Probably dolphins, maybe some, orcas, some alec crabs. No, they don't get that deep though. They some just said like the only thing down there is is, is the great whites. Well, they pull and the nets, yeah, yeah, but they're they pulling all it all the way up to the surface, so they're catching yeah. everything in between five thousand oh. feet and zero the feet. They just get. That's probably how they're catching all it's, that blue fin. It's like a mystery box. Oh. It's like a mystery box. Adam, you're a mystery box. It's a mystery. At its lowest and deepest point, imagine that all the crevasses have been thoroughly filled crevasses. with water, and you'll get the perfect picture. Now, if we're really careful, then at the depth of 6,600 feet, we'll be able to see the black dragonfish. What? A nightmarish what? What is that? that dwells in the deep and dark it parts of the big. ocean. And trust me, it's there it is again. right here. It looks that like something from a big horror movie. And black. And it's I'd rather teeth. it never cross my path. Oh, yeah. At 7,400 nah. feet, nah. we'll be saying goodbye what is that? to sperm whales. What is that? What is that? This is the deepest what is point that? What is that? And frankly, they have no real business at such a depth. Maybe they hunt the black dragonfish, of course. That's Moby Dick, right? Them. Nah. I don't know, but that forehead is comparable is to, uh, sperm whales can I hate to say it, but my feet own. In length, which makes them the largest toothed whales in the world. Not many creatures can counter that. It's good that our submersible has a powerful out. floodlight. Without it, <laughs> we wouldn't something. have been able to see the astonishing beauty of the deep sea coral reefs located oh. at the depth of 9,900 feet. They I can didn't be found that there in every ocean, that deep. and it's a pity they can't Is be seen stone? without special deep sea diving equipment. I don't know, but it's cool. Okay, going deeper still, and 12,000 feet. Dude, imagine feet, we reach the how deep do we go? 12,000 feet of water. From now on, the journey into the real depths begins. The, the general Mariana ocean trail must been be passed, popping. Whoever so decided now that. it's time to delve <laughs> into the abyss. Now at fifteen. Oh, now they're getting to the, the abyss, guys. Oh, I've seen that before from Nemo. It's a, uh, it's like a football fish. Angler the Nemo fish, fish. for example. Angler fish. Scare the heck out of anyone. It's long and crooked teeth, <laughs> along with. Oh, a I saw this. I saw this before. That lures uh, Nemo. Nemo. Yeah, yeah, I said yeah, that. I said that. I saw that. Great Nemo. A great original thought, Jack. Creature called the black That was great. Great reference. It's an eel-like beast that has a very stretchy stomach, and it can swallow prey that's twice its size. So it's like a deep Look sea below, snake. And you're going Seriously. to see the deepest shipwreck ever oh, the found. Music's getting intense. SS Rio Grande. The Titanic. South Atlantic oh. sunk <laughs> in 1941 and went as low as 18,900 feet. No wonder it Jeez. was only found 55 years later. And now the deepest and darkest part of the ocean begins. This is incredible. We're diving into the Mariana Trench. 
Officially, it begins at about 19,700 feet deep. It's both the least explored feet. and the wow. most fascinating That's area for the scientists alley. and adventurers alike. Like, but really trying to imagine, though, how big that is. Well, we're about to see. But while we're not there yet, I'll show you something else. For example, here's the deepest fish ever found. It's Ooh. called a snailfish, what? and it dwells at 26,000 feet. That's such a lame its fish to be the deepest yeah. fish ever. So you what can you actually down there, see right through its skin. <laughs> well, I must say I'm glad we didn't wow. turn it's a space the fish. after all. This little That's guy awesome. is surprisingly cute. Kind of looks guys, cute. That can what if aliens actually aren't in the air? They're actually underground in the ocean. They're hiding. They're, what? How I is actually, the ocean underground? <laughs> I actually heard a theory that octopuses are aliens. I think and it's like octopi. They, whatever it is, I don't care. But they, they were on an asteroid. I also heard it was octopi, and like, Jack. I'm not saying it's not, I'm just saying. No, just when you're talking about octopus, just refer to it as octopi. That's yeah, the plural. Yeah, you kind of threw me off with your stupidity. Okay, octopi. Is it not octopi and you're messing with me? You don't even know, you're looking it up. I see you looking it up. All right, back to my story. There's a theory that octopuses or octopi are here on Earth from an asteroid. Like they were on eggs on an asteroid. Boom, crash landing. Boom, we're in the ocean and are actually aliens. I'm not who, saying it's true. Who I'm told you that? Was it the aliens guy from the History Channel? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I saw it like on TikTok or somewhere. Um, That's all. The I'm most not saying it's true. I'm not, say, I'm not even saying I believe it. I'm just saying. For That's octopuses, octopuses. See, it is octopuses. Yes, that's what you guys Jack both, said. You owe me an apology. Jack, yeah, but no, said? in Latin, a lot of people say octopi is right. So there's a big debate. We yeah, can talk yeah. about crazy that. Crazy because we're speaking English. That's so, uh, you know. Well, English is derived is from Latin. So. Derived from Latin, Alec. Vertebrate animal whatsoever. The pressure is just too much for such creatures. But there are shrimps and other invertebrates, not to mention microbes, that can dwell even in the deepest Ew. part of the ocean. Shrimps and that part is a challenge. Look like a bunch of glow It's the turns. bottom of the Mariana Trench, and its depth is 35,850 feet. Oh, crash landing! We've arrived at the very bottom <laughs> of the Earth. Few people have been here, and very little is known about it yet. But scientists aren't going to stop. And there's hope. We'll soon find out. There's gotta be something there, down there. They that's gotta crazy. go deeper. They there's gotta, gotta be something it, down there. That's where the aliens are, man. Beneath there, we just haven't discovered it yet. There's so much of the ocean. We've that explored more of the the space than we have of the ocean. Yes. How crazy is that? That's not true. It is actually. If you guys want to see what we discovered in space, click this video right. Uh, wait, we haven't done that video yet. <laughs> We've only explored 5% of the Earth's oceans. Yes, that's true. If you guys want to see the 10 most dangerous sea creatures, click this video right here.